Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Tom Matthews. And I'm Joanne Toronto. Today we have a great topic to talk about, which is about how Tom and I operate in our business and why we have a high touch, high level of quality, high level of service business and how we are able to maintain that so that each client feels like they are our only client. So Tom, why don't you kick it off? Tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the things that we do to ensure high touch, high quality. Yeah, and this high quality has developed over the last 18 years of Joanne and I working together, figuring out what worked, what didn't work, what right. we liked, what we didn't like. And what we've come to the conclusion on is that all of our clients deal with Joanne or I directly. Right. All of our team members that support us are in the background. And so we have systems, loads and loads of systems in place to ensure that every buyer and seller client feels like our only client and feels like we are giving the same attention to the transaction that they are. Right. Because oftentimes we say to people that no one cares about your transaction as much as you, the buyer or seller, except for Tom and Joanne. And that's <laughs> something that's really important to us. So Joanne, what's like a system that we use? Um, yeah. Maybe we tell people about Tuesday check-ins, perhaps. Yeah. So so every week we do our Tuesday check-ins, which is you know kind of a hallmark of our service. And one thing that we've learned over time is that communication is paramount, and that people have different methods of communication that work best for them. So sometimes we have a client that says. I just want to pick up the phone and talk to you. I don't want to text you. I don't want to email you. I just want to pick up the phone. I won't take a lot of your time. Whatever, whatever the case may be, we tailor our communication to each client's preference. And we will ask that up front when we begin working together. What do you prefer? And we can change it at any time. A lot of people will prefer, you know, a group chain text message that's between Tom, myself, and maybe a, a couple that are, are buying or selling together. And that way we have really streamlined communications because one of the things that I think gets lost in, in our business is the high level of communication. A lot can be interpreted improperly from an email or a text message. And that's why we think phone calls are really important. And we wanna tailor our messages and our, our methodology to the way that our clients prefer to be um, updated. And then having that assurance that you're gonna get contact from us on every Tuesday is really nice because sometimes you can just hold your questions. If it's Monday, you know you're gonna hear from us on a Tuesday. Or if you, you know, have a burning question, you know that you can pick up the phone and that we're gonna answer it. So the important part to us is the level of communication needs to be really, really high. And that's part of the high touch service that we provide. Um, it's very rare that we come across a buyer or seller that has a ton of experience buying and selling because there are some investors right. that really just don't need and don't want that high level of communication because they know what they're doing. But for the majority of people, they're buying and selling, you know, between one and five properties in a lifetime. And it's just not a process that stays with us. Even if you did it two years ago, things change. Methodology has changed. Technology has changed. And we want to make sure that every person is feeling the comfort with the level of communication that we provide. How about, Tom, about the, just, the number of clients that we work with at one time? Yeah, the number of clients, we keep it very minimal so that it's, you know, something that both Joanne and I feel that we can handle. And, you know, through our experience, we have an ability to adjust and, and gauge what is the right amount. I can't really put a number on that because it changes right. from month to month and year to year. Um, but if we feel that we have too many clients, we have a huge network of unbelievable realtors that we can refer people to. Um, and, and that helps us to be able to maintain a really high quality and high level of service. But, but one thing I want to dovetail back on the Tuesday check-ins, which I, I just feel this is one of the most important things that Joanne and I do, is the fact that I'm doing a couple of transactions right now with team, with team, like agents who are on big teams. And one thing that I'm seeing a lot of these teams do is the minute the contract is signed, they bring in a transaction coordinator. And, and the agent disappears. They're on the, they're on the email chains and, and so forth, but they have 
no communication. And you know, we feel, Joanne and I feel that the equity in your home is typically in the top five in your financial portfolio. And, and it really requires a high level of expertise to be interacting with. And, and that's why we've melded our business model where client interaction is with Tom or Joanne and anything behind the scenes, you know, making brochures, signs, stuff like that is handled by team members. Because I find as an agent, dealing with transaction coordinators to be frustrating. I can only imagine what it's like for clients. Um, so I just think it's important. And, and then yeah. like Joanne said, you know, handling the level of making sure, and, and how do you know what's an amount of clients you can handle? That comes from experience. We've been doing this working together for 18 years. It's not like we started last year. So we can really kind of gauge what works best for us. Right, and, we feel, and, and we want to feel like we can provide this high level of service to each client that we work with. <laughs> So if somebody, you know, comes to us and has a need and maybe their need is perhaps outside of our normal geography. I mean, we are licensed in the whole state of Massachusetts, but, you know, we like, we like to stick to the Metro West suburbs. That's where we're most comfortable and what we know the most about. But sometimes we have a client, you know, maybe they're a past client and they are buying a second property or they just have a need to help a family member get into get into their community or so forth. If we feel like we can't take on whatever challenge, we will be honest and we will say, you know what? This is a this is a bit outside of our level of expertise. However, we know somebody else that could that we could team up with to take on this challenge and then they have the reassurance that we will stay involved in the background but that they have the lead the lead person handling their transaction is invested and knowledgeable about exactly what they're looking to execute exactly you know and one final thing i just want to talk about with high quality service that joanne and i offer it's not for everybody some people really want that high quality touch but not everyone does and that's okay you know, so oftentimes if you're watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, this is for me, great. But if you're watching this and saying, I don't want this, I just want someone to show up, do the job and disappear and just, I'm fine with that. That's great. You know, that's what's so beautiful about life in real estate is you can get lots of different people with mm -hmm. different personality traits. And this is just the business model that we've developed that we like. And those are the people that we're looking for. Right. Hey. Well, thank you for joining us for another conversation of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. Cheers. Cheers.